Hello, my name is Stacia and I am from the US but I currently live in South Korea. So I decided to go with the face dental because I felt really comfortable actually. The things that I wanted to fix was my um, positioning of my receding chin because it caused a lot of sleep apnea for one which means like I couldn't really breathe while I was sleeping and also for two uh, it kind of was some sort of imbalance to my face so I figured I wanted to be able to fix this but I didn't want anything that was drastic or anything that was like too intense I just wanted something that allowed me to help breathe a little bit better and to correct a small imbalance in my face so operation time will be about uh, 30 minutes to one hour it is not very big surgery okay. and uh, you don't need hospitalization mm -hmm. okay so if your surgery is in the morning you can go to your home at the before the evening okay okay and so I was searching around, I actually went to two clinics, uh, but one clinic I just felt so uncomfortable, but then I discovered the face dental and it was the polar opposite. And the things that I loved about the face dental is because it was so small, it felt like really cozy because they focused only on like orthodontics. So they only focused on anything of like the lower jawline or the mouth here versus like other clinics that does everything right. They might do like breast surgery. So I felt like the quality was really good because the doctors only focus on what they were specialized in and so I could tell like this was a really good choice you know really kind and really sweet and they really uh, just made me feel very comfortable so that's why I ended up choosing the face dental and especially with dr. Lee he was absolutely amazing he never pushed for anything that was really unnecessary because he was like you know you don't really need these type of surgeries you just need something to kind of help just move the chin a little bit forward which will help a lot with your breathing as well as creating a more balance in your face and so I said okay like let's go for that he never pushed for anything extreme the surgery was really easy just only like an hour or two hours and then I got to go home the same day and so I really like that a lot about Dr. Lee because I felt so comfortable in his hands because I could tell he had my best interest in his mind so again thank you so much Dr. Lee and let's hear from him hi I'm Dr. Lee from the face Dental clinic I am the oral and maxillofacial surgeon. The maxillofacial surgeon do the many facial bone surgery, especially two-jaw surgery and the genioplasty or the tooth implant. I uh, like my job and uh, I wanted to, to see many foreign patients. If you want to do the operation, uh, please visit my clinic. Thank you. This area is for the outpatient. So when I check and diagnose my patient, I use this place for the dental implant or to extraction, some kind of small surgery, I use this place. This is my operation room. So <laughs> that is the, the, the general anesthesia machine. Mm. Okay, so, so we use general anesthesia for the bone surgery, but uh, sometimes I use the Twilight sedation for the bone surgery. So this is my operation. So the we provide single room for the patient. So so single room is more better than the, the multi-use room. So and the, this is the check the vital sign during the, the patient recovery. So so I think it is very convenient for the patient. Single room is better than the other the multi uh, patient room. Okay. So what do you feel when you admission? Yeah, I felt it was really comfortable to be here. Yeah. So I mostly just rested here for about what six hours. Yes, about you know the Five after months. the genioplasty we take care of about the six hours. Yeah, six hours. Because you need time for the recovery from the general anesthesia. So, and then you can go to your room yeah. or your hotel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank Very you. Good. <laughs> so, uh, we did the genioplasty, mm -hmm. advanced genioplasty, right? You have some problem, some protruded mm -hmm. mouth and a small chin. But uh, if you want to correct your protruded mouth, we should move your jaw bone, entire jaw bone backward. Right, it's right. very aggressive and a very difficult yeah, job. Yeah. So we choose simple one, yes. okay? 
advanced senior plastic so as you can see your chin is very sharp and uh, very small right. so compared with chin your mouth is too much bulky and uh, right. protruded from the side view so we move it forward right, right, right. so it is more the proportion is much better than before right. you know the we do not move your your jaw bone but uh, compare with before and after as you can see the your protruded mouth is hided by your chin. chin yeah mm -hmm. so it's very nice cool. yeah, i like the proportion yeah i feel good <laughs> I, I can feel you now uh -huh. yeah it's not as numb yeah. as before and I think it looks good too. Actually, I think it helped with the sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because the sleep apnea is the related with your tongue position. Mm -hmm. the, your tongue is attached with your chin. Mm -hmm. So if we move it forward, your tongue come together right forward. forward. Yeah, so it increases the, the airway volume. Mm -hmm. So it's much easier to breathe in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I think it's very good choice yeah, yeah. yeah the, the small surgery and the good effect right, right. so it, 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 i think we do the right choice yeah, thank you <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not>. okay <laughs> <laughs>